Hello, everyone. Hi, Ostra here. Hey, thanks so much for waiting. We're about to start with some warm-up sketches. So get your drawing supplies and come on down to my desk. Let's, let's do this. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, welcome. Welcome back to the desk, everybody. So I think if you're here right now, you're here for the spiders. But what do these have to do with spiders? Well, my references for my warm-up sketches today actually, um, yeah, they relate to spiders. You could tell. What do we have there? We've got somebody in a Spider-Man costume. Right next to him, a spider monkey. That's a spider flower. I'm uh, actually a little daunted by that one. Maybe <laughs> I'll find a simpler one. And then what do we have in the corner? That's, uh, that would be a dream catcher. Okay, and the idea behind the dream catcher is uh, to, yeah, to catch the negative, yeah, negative dreams, negative energies. Okay, kind of like the idea of a spider's web. Okay, so let's do this. I've got my, got my stuff here. So let's begin. Okay, grab your stuff and draw with me. Uh, I'm going to get a closer look at this uh, dream catcher. I think I'm going to do the silhouette of it. I believe uh, I can achieve this. So here we go. And I'll just use a simple marker to start for today. All right, so just trying to loosen up right now. Yeah, thanks so much for, for hanging out. Let's do this. Okay, so I hope... What do we see for this dream catcher? It's very round. So what I'm trying to do is get, yeah, get that round shape with my very bold marker. This is a nice marker. It's got a very broad tip. Here we go. Oh, wow. I, oh, my goodness. This is like, it's like one of the best circles I've drawn all day. Seriously. Wow. Okay, so I've got... I got the shape, well, the line rather. Now I'm going to fill it in and make the shape here of this uh, ring of the dream catcher. And some of them, some of these dream catchers are very intricate. They have like very, very detailed uh, weaving. This one I chose because it's just, yeah, it doesn't seem as complicated as some of those. We don't want to spend all session on uh, just one thing. You know, we like doing a lot of different things with our very precious time together. So thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. I'm, yeah, I'm Ostra. And I've been, I've been with Vico uh, for a, a couple months now. And if you don't know about us, we're this team of teachers wi uh, from all these different disciplines. And we're here to, uh, yeah, to help you become more skilled in whatever it is you're most interested in. Maybe you'll expand your knowledge of things you never thought you'd try. You know, like singing or dancing or doing some yoga, or speaking another language, you know, communicating in Chinese. Okay, your science and math. And I hear there's even going to be dog training. So this is really exciting stuff. Now... Thanks for listening, by the way. Uh, I'll mention this again later, but yeah, we're switching over to this really cool app. So I'll tell you all about it in a bit. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can see this little message down here. Visit us at vico.com, and you can learn more about our app. And that's where you'll be able to find us. All right, so now I'm trying to look at how to approach this middle part. Um, there's definitely a pattern, right? Can you see this pattern? Let's see if we can make this pattern happen. I see a line that goes like that. Yeah, there are different ways to approach it. So if, you, if you're thinking of a s different way, just go for it. And then I see a line go there. And then I see a line go like this. <laughs> and then I see a line go like that. So I think I'm going to do it this way. Certainly there are other ways to do it, but this is the way I'm approaching it. Let's try this. And I see this goes here. Okay. And it's not like super symmetrical or anything. So I'm just trying my best here. This is also my first drawing for this session tonight. So yeah, whoops, I think uh, 
All right, this would go in. Yeah, let's see. This goes like so. And there's a big gap. I'm noticing that. I see the gap. And then we've got this branches out. That's what's happening. Yeah, that threw me off a bit. Yeah, I could have used pencil for this, but like I said, I'm just I'm just going for it. You know, if I get it wrong, yeah, you know, you know, come arrest me, art police. It's okay. No big deal. I'm just practicing. Okay, so what else do we have going on here? <laughs> yeah, this is going to turn into the yeah the big dream catcher sketch. We got some other cool stuff to get to, so yeah, let's see let's see how far we get today. And I hope you've got your supplies. I hope you're drawing too. And if not, then just enjoying your evening wherever you are in the world. <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, it's happening. Here, I see the pattern. It's very easy to get lost. You can approach it, I think, from a fractal point of view where, like, it's, yeah, it's very small in the center, as you can see. And then, yeah, these spaces start getting bigger and bigger. Now I see, oh, there's a big thing here. So it's, it's like maybe some beads or something is stuck in there or could, could represent something. I'm not going to claim to be an expert on this, but yeah, let's see, get, get a little more in there. I gotta admit, yeah, I think I'm missing a few of these, but that's okay. You know, what do you see? You know, try your best to, to gather. Okay, and doing my best. Let's see, this would go in more like that. Yeah, you're probably like, I see where you went wrong. That's no, okay. <laughs> All right, oh, it gets very tiny in here. Oh yeah, it's way, it's way better here than the way I did it, but in the, you know, in the, <laughs> in the photo. Okay. All right, that'll do for me for now. Okay, let's do this now. I want the where it's tied up to, and then I see one bead with one of these uh, yeah, things hanging down with the, with the beads and the feathers. How would you draw feathers with marker? Okay, uh, let's figure that out. So just, you gotta like be very loose. Yeah, loosen up in your, whoop, there's a shadow here. Yeah, loosen up in your wrist, okay. Um, you know, don't press too hard. Yeah, if, if you've got a marker, just kind of graze the surface, see? You can get uh, these extremely bold lines, as you can see, with a marker such as this, but it does have a very fine tip on the end of it, so I'm just trying to barely touch the paper and get, like, this feathery effect. Okay, so give it a shot. Now... I can see that it's it's black though. So I want to come in now with the dark and I'm not covering up all those lines I did. I'm making sure some of them are visible as I make more lines on top. Okay, so this comes down and we'll try this. Yeah, if I don't get to all these warm ups, we can do it in session two. There's another session coming up later this evening so uh, after I break, it'll be an hour and then 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be back here on YouTube for what will be, m will be my last YouTube live. Yeah, so you'll have to find me on that app, okay, for, for live stuff. There'll be videos posted from Vico for sure with other interesting things that, are, that we've been doing, but for the live experience, Join us on the app, please. We'll be thrilled to see you on there. Yeah, we've got a whole uh, great social media thing happening in there. You'll be able to share your drawings and, uh, and different things on there. So it'd be so cool. Okay, so I really, really hope to see our fans on there. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for hanging with me, everybody, and drawing. I hope, yeah, I hope. It'll be a better experience because um, I've been saying, oh, uh, yeah, share with me on Instagram, but I can't say I've been that great with my Instagram. Um, I, think, I think it'll be better. Yeah, we'll be able to connect a lot better on there and share what's going on. All right, so there's my hanging dream catcher. See, I, I, made, I made sure I included that gap right here. 
see, there's a gap. Okay, this one's pretty thick. This one comes up a little higher. I think I got it. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some more beads on here. but So this is like a silhouette, basically. It's like a shadow, uh, you know, against the light. You got brightness behind it, and this is really popping up pretty dark. Okay, well, what do I have time for? Yeah, like I said, I am, <laughs> I am so daunted by this flower. Like, I love it, but now I'm just looking at it like, oh, man. Okay, I'll maybe later. How about, uh, how about, how about Spider-Man? Yeah, let's do a Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Dreamcatcher, you're going to go over here. Okay, you're going to wait till later. And, ooh, look, look how thick the marker came through on the paper. Yikes. You're like, Spider-Man, yeah, well, you know, why not? The theme today is spiders. So let's do Spider-Man. Why not? Okay, so uh, how about... Trying to see if I've got the right pencil for the job. So I don't come to think of it. Have we done a human figure on here? I'm not sure. Perhaps not. This could be a first. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to go for Spider-Man. Okay, this or Spider-Person. If Correct me if I'm wrong. If that's not Spider-Man, then uh, tell me. Tell me. You are so off. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, th I thought so. Definitely from the Spider, Spider-Man universe, right? Okay, so what do we see? What's the angle? Okay, it's not like it's not going this way. It's not straight. So you need to angle this. Okay, in such a way. So let, let's sketch it. So I'm, I'm I'll press a little harder than I normally would. You don't have to press so hard. I'm trying to figure out the direction of his head. It's an kind of this oval. See. Yeah, try to measure it. You can take your pencil and like put it against the screen if you need to and try to get try to get where the center between his eyes are. And his eyes are very obvious, aren't they? Yeah, they're these big big uh big things woven into the costume. It's kind of bug like. I don't know, he looks more like an ant to me, but that's just me. Hope I didn't just insult Spider Man fans, but but yeah, oh, I've got this picture of um, of what spider eyes look like. Oh, I'll have to load it in. It is so interesting. Okay, so I'm just being kind of sketchy now. Yeah, I, I really need some loosening up here. So I'm not worrying too much about how it's looking. I'm just trying to get the angle right and the pose. Yeah, when you've got someone doing something like this, this is a person, they're posing. He's like got his arms up now admittedly okay it goes off the screen right Th that's just the way the picture is so I'll we, we could put something here like all right maybe something's in the way there boom all right we don't have to worry about the elbow but it comes in and uh, goes behind behind his head there we go yeah so hey we're doing a figure here yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot today, not just spiders, but some some figure drawing. He's got a cool costume. I like this one, this version. All right, comes down and kind of goes off the screen. So what's very what are some important details here? I notice, uh, yeah, those eyes are very important. So I want to make sure I have those looking right before I commit to anything more solid than this pencil yeah it looks like hey i'm just checking the screen it looks like you can see let me know in the chat what you think if you can see okay if you want me to use something darker i will okay yeah and you know the whole reason this spider session is happening today is because we ha i have a viewer yeah, you're out there i know you are one of our viewers did say spiders i know it was a while back and I wanted to save spiders for a very special day. And today, uh, this day is, is the eighth of this month. And hey, you know, spiders have eight, eight legs and eight eyes. So yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. And this is also my last YouTube live. Yes, I, I, it's not like we're leaving YouTube, but finding us live find us on that app yeah it's going to be so so cool so please yeah 
be sure to check it out. Okay, I'm these lines are kind of helpful. I'm I'm noticing the direction these lines go. And yeah, they they do help. So try to notice details like that when you're sketching. Okay. His head looks like it's a little a little bigger up here. Yeah, I'm going over this a bit. That's okay. Be as sketchy as you want. We're just, like I said, we're trying to loosen up right now. Got some great spider uh, photos coming up. So you've been warned, okay, arachnophobes? You know, I'm sure you're not here. <laughs> but hey, if you are, you know, just, it's okay. It's just pictures. And we commend you for facing your fear. Arachnophobia is a real thing. Yeah, I am, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, since I'm just drawing Spider-Man right now anyway, the story of how I came to like spiders, I made friends when I s with a spider when I was a kid. Yeah, I used, to, I used to find pests that were in our house <laughs> and <laughs> find spiders that were outside and give them something to eat. That's what I would do. So there was a spider that lived in a pine tree and it had a, it had like a, f like a funnel, like, like a, like a, yeah, a hole, like a cave for a web. It wasn't a, like a traditional web that you usually see. All right, I'm looking at the symbol on the chest here and I am wanting to do something a little different. So I'm gonna take my red marker and see if this does anything cool. I know I'm mixing it up a bit, but remember this is mixed media. We can, we can do anything here. So whatever you have to draw with, just remember that, yeah, you're welcome here, please. We're here to practice and you don't always have to just use a, p a pencil. You can use your marker, you can use a, a pen, you can use yeah, ink in your, like a pen that you load all right, see, I'm, I'm following what I'm seeing. That's what's happening here. I'm trying to see what's happening. Let's sketch it in. And what else? Yeah, if you want to sketch and paint, you're allowed to do that. So there are the rules here. There are really any rules. You can do what you'd like with what I'm showing you and use whatever you've got. I provide the pictures and I'm telling you, uh, yeah, just, you know, my my experience and advice as I do this, as I practice, and I just hope I inspire more people to practice drawing too. And we've, we've got other awesome uh, yeah, teachers on the channel, you know, including art teachers. So how about this? What if you, you, know, you have class with, with one of them and you come here and you try to do something in that style? Like for example, a teacher Manu, yeah, Miss Miss Adobnik yesterday, I believe had Ro Romer uh, Brito, and yeah, she did this cool Darth Vader. So what if you did spiders in uh, Brito style? Okay, so yeah, you could totally do stuff like that. It's a g yeah, like just using these pictures is a great way to practice and just get get better. That's how I I got really good at drawing. Just just practicing and doing it. So that's what, that's what we're all doing right now, hopefully. We're all just practicing and getting a little better. I tried to get this symbol here. All right, what else do I see? I see on the shoulder some red, on this shoulder some red. I see red around the eyes. Yeah, okay, I, oh wow, I'm spending a lot of time on these warm-ups, so I think this might be my last warm-up. Uh, we can do the monkey and maybe the flower in my second session coming up later. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm just taking my time tonight. I think I'm feeling kind of relaxed and chill. But okay, quick, quick, quick. All right, let's see if we can do this. Okay, I want to. I want to outline him. This figure of a person in a spider. Spider person costume. Yeah, correct me if you know. If you know. Which exact one this is? Because I know this isn't the traditional Spider-Man. 
Oh, I forgot his other arm. Let's get it in there. Yeah, get it. Get that in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got his hand behind his head. So now you can see a little better. Uh, here's a tip, too. You could um, see how I made that line here? I'm going to frame it now. Let's do that wall frame. Okay, make frame. Can you see the bottom? Yeah, you can see the bottom. Okay, come up. Frame. And there's, right? Isn't there something magical about a frame that just makes your work somehow more complete? Such a strange phenomenon, but it works. Yeah, then I can just now finish my bold spider lines <laughs> coming up. Yeah, he's got a nice physique. Okay, we've got, ah, uh, yeah, we've got the other, these other lines here. So I really do want to get those in before I jump into, jump into the rest of today. Okay, because he's, got look at this awesome pattern. Yeah, you can really appreciate you know, the webs, right, with this pattern that's on this costume. Yeah, you weren't expecting this to be Spider-Man today, were you? Nope. <laughs> I promise. We'll get to the real spiders. We will. We will. They're coming. The spiders are coming. Okay, so I got this. It kind of looks like it's almost like abs, right? Like almost like ab muscles, but not. All right, how many lines do we see? I see one in the center, two, three. So get these lines going. Okay, goes up here. So it follows the contour. Okay, oh, looks like there's more distance than what I added. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, now I just want to get the feeling of it. I'm getting a little. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm ready. I can't wait to get to the real spiders. It's gonna be so cool. Thanks so much for joining me today. On this special special night. Okay, so. Oh, look at the texture too. Yeah, there's like see the like that dotted texture. Yeah, that's oh. okay. Not gonna worry about it too. This is this is it for now. Okay, I can certainly do more with this, especially with the bold lines and yeah, like I said, maybe the Brito thing. So maybe I'll jump into that later. Show you how it comes out. Okay. All right. So my two warm up sketches were just the Dreamcatcher and Spider Man relaxing after a night of fighting crime okay so let's uh let's jump back to me okay i'm gonna reveal myself hey okay hello everybody all right ostra here i'm thrilled you're here with me like i said on this special night okay these are my last youtube live sessions before we switch over to the app this thursday so my next sessions will be on the app yeah, so check it out. Please do. Yeah, we'd love to see you on there. Uh, we'll still have content available on the YouTube channel here. But, yeah, for the live stuff, join us on the app. It's a whole new thing. We're so excited for it. Now, uh, how about our subject for today? Spiders. Yeah, okay. So I, I'd hate to think people are, like, really scared out there. Um, the people who are here, I hope, are really big fans like I am. So let's, let's take a look at some really cool pictures that I have found. Thank you so much, pixabay.com. All right, you can go to pixabay.com and search up any, any subject. So if you search up spiders, you'll find these pictures. So come on over. Hey, yay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at these. Yeah, what a variety. Now, there's no way I could show you what every spider in the world looks like in one class or even, yeah. Look at this. So 50,000, nearly 50,000 species, uh, different types of spiders all over the all over the world. Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah, they're, they're around and they have a very important job. They need to eat all the insects that that populate the earth. They they keep things in check. So we do need them as much as uh, some people may not enjoy seeing them. You know, just think of them as your little foot soldiers in your house. You know, if, if you see them in your house, don't hurt them, okay? I'm an ambassador for the spiders. Yeah, don't hurt them. They're just trying to look for bugs, all right? Yeah, we've got some pretty interesting looking ones here. Um, yeah, only about 25 or so will have venom. They have venom in their body that they inject into their little, you know, prey victims. Um, only about 25 
you know, are, are known to do anything to humans. So, yeah, some are serious. Granted, uh, you've heard of the Black Widow. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a picture of the Black Widow in the second session. Okay. The scarier looking spiders will draw then, I think. Um, that's what I was thinking. But then again, to some, they might all be scary. But yeah, we have various species here. We've got a tarantula. We'll get into tarantulas in a second. Okay, we've got like, um, is it this one right here? Yes, uh, this one right there with the really crazy uh, rear end. Um, yeah, the abdomen. Opistosoma, I think that's what it's called. Um, I think it's called a bolus spider. There's a spider that doesn't even need a web. It just, it, it, it twirls some silk. They make silk. Uh, they, they, they create it, and it's sticky often, and they can catch things with it in various ways, spinning webs and such. So, yeah, let's take a look at some webs. And But before I go, yeah, we've got the jumping spider here. We've got a, a I think that's a crab spider. They live in flowers like orchids, the orchid spider, and they blend in, and they catch things that land there. Yeah, so, and orb weavers, yeah, such, oh, my goodness, such a, such a variety. Let's take a look at some webs. Okay, webs. The webs they weave. Yeah, how, how gorgeous are these, right? Look at the... Now, they, th we can see them clearly in a lot of these shots because of the lighting or because they have, like, dew on them. You know, like wet uh, little drops in the morning. So just see a few, uh, just a few examples here of some beautiful shots I saw. And yeah, we've got one that's uh, yeah, some, you know, working on something here. Yeah, they'll they'll methodically uh, just m create their web, and it's an instinct that they just kn they just know how to do it. It's one of those incredible mysteries of life. And now they don't all make beautiful, pretty webs that are orb webs. Okay, that are like circular. Uh, some of some of them will make uh, that little cave. See, you see, like that little little. Uh, uh, I've heard of ones called funnel webs, but there's a funnel web spider that's very venomous. But yeah, the web itself is kind of like a funnel. Like it gets, see how it gets bigger and then goes into this cave, cave-like thing. So yeah, just checking these out, right? Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Now, I don't like walking into spider webs, do you? No. Not yet. <laughs> I'm like, usually I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, spider. But then yeah, it doesn't feel great either. Yeah, they're sticky often so that uh, they can catch things in them. Yeah, things just get stuck. A moth or a you know something with wings, flies. Hopefully, flies get those fly spiders. But yeah, they're catching them, and then they're able to wrap them in silk that they create from their spinnerets at the end of their uh, abdomen or opistosoma, and uh, they'll they'll bite them, inject them with venom. Yeah, venom is injected into the body, and it paralyzes the victim, and also starts digesting them. Yeah, they eat. They make them like a soup. My goodness, I could talk about spiders all day. Can you tell <laughs> I really like them? So, yeah. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me and appreciating spiders. Um, let's see. Did I have any other? I had some other cool stuff. Like, yeah, a ton of cool stuff. We'll get to the art, I promise. But how about, let's take a look at tarantulas. Wow, yeah, tarantulas. Yeah, they're in the megalomorph, megalomorph group of spiders. They're primitive. So wait, what? Primitive? What does that mean? They're like dinosaurs? I mean, yeah, they're they're pretty old. Um, they're the way their fangs work, they go forward. They they inject yeah downward and forward like that. Whereas other spiders uh, will inject like a pincer. They'll pinch. They'll do that. And the megalomorphs bite downward. Okay, so I hope that clears it up. And um, yeah, are they deadly to humans? Uh, not, no, not necessarily. Um, the ones in North America and in South America, Central America, the, their bites aren't known to be that bad. Like it's like getting stung by a bee. So don't, uh, yeah, don't worry too much about them. Now wait, you don't want one near your face though. Do you see, oh my goodness, like what's that, oh, that model? She's very brave. See, I like spiders, but I don't think I'd want one walking near my eye because they have very itchy hair on them. They're called urticating hairs. Urticating. So, yeah, it's, it's dangerous to have one near your eye because those urticating hairs are like, like fiberglass. Yeah, you don't want that. They're like little barbs. Mm, they're very uncomfortable. 
Why do they have them? As a defense mechanism, because their venom is not as strong as those in Asia and in Africa. They have very strong venom there. You don't want, you do not want to get bit by one of those. You won't die, but you might, you might wish you might, <laughs> from what I've heard. Yeah, um, you know, you'll feel like, yeah, I, I, this is what I've heard. Okay, no firsthand experience, but from from the Asia and Africa um, tarantulas, if they bite you, you'll feel like your bones are breaking and your organs are on fire. So, no thanks. Okay, look, no touch, even with the new New World ones here. So very cool though, huh? Yeah, and they come in different colors, so beautiful. There's a pet trade and people do enjoy uh, yeah, trading them and, 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 uh, and, and keeping them in terrariums. So yeah, not unheard of. Okay, oh, hey, thanks for the like. Thanks so much out there. Okay, so, oh my goodness, there's so much we can get into, uh, my spider fans out there. But how about this? Before we get into our own art, let's just appreciate some art by an artist who is no longer with us, okay, but Louise Bourgeois. Uh, so as you can see, these aren't paintings, but yeah, she did all kinds of art throughout her life, um, but she is known uh, for these epic, uh, massive sculptures. Uh, They're called spiders, and look, you can see the scale of them. Look, there's somebody walking underneath one. So uh, I was lucky enough to see the spiders. I went, well, oh my goodness, kind of accidentally stumbled upon it, I believe in New York City. It, we had some, yeah, uh, where was it? Probably Rockefeller Center, yeah. Yeah, sometimes there's a big sculpture there, something interesting to see, or the Christmas tree, uh, as you would know, the holiday trees out there. But yeah, these, these large scale works, and yeah, she's known for this stuff. She had an eight decade long career. And I'm trying to also remember what else she said about spiders. Um, they represent uh, a feminine strength. I think that's what I what I had read about her thoughts on that. Definitely worth checking her out. Yeah, L check out yeah Louise Bourgeois. Okay, was there anything else before we get into the art? Okay, well, come back later for second session. I'll have some more uh, spider stuff for you. Yeah, you know maybe something yeah different from what I've talked about. Uh, just now. There's, yeah, there's so much more. Yeah, maybe even some cool artifacts. Okay, I can even show you those in a second. So we're going to get into our drawings. Okay, if you have something, something to work with. Okay, so markers, pencils, all that are fine. Okay, I'm going to welcome you back down to the desk. So I picked out some spiders here. Let's see what we think of these. Let's come on down. Where's my desk? Okay, I picked out three. Here we go. Okay, so two are kind of similar. Um, yeah, these are yeah these orb weaver type spiders that yeah will will these weave pretty large, pretty large webs from what I've seen. Uh, yeah, down in down in the southern U.S. Um, I'm not sure if these exact ones are there though, but they have ones called I think. Uh, are they the banana spiders? Yeah, they're, they're like yellow like bananas. So yeah, we got we got some variety here. Now, I figured we'd save the easiest one for now for our uh, main drawing, because yeah, this is our first session. So let's start with something that's a little less less complex, and you've got choices here too. So if you want to decorate your spider more like one or the other, you can you can certainly do that. Okay, or maybe you're very fast at drawing, so you can draw each one. But I think I'm going to pick, I'm trying to pick which one I like the most. I really like this one right under me here with the orange. Yeah, but the one with the black's really cool too. All right, let's see how, let's see what we get to. Can you tell that there's just not enough time in the world for me to draw spiders? <laughs> okay. So I want to get this, uh, yeah, I'm going to get that one open, the orange one for myself. If I can, oh no. I lost the spider. It got away from me. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, so I've got it. Yeah, and it does have eight legs, even though it looks like it has four in this picture. Okay, so here we go. Spider Anatomy 101, everybody. Let's give this a try. Yeah, they're, to me, uh, drawing the body is pretty important because I see it incorrectly drawn much of the time. 
yeah, let's see. This is an interesting shaped one. But yeah, I'll point out the anatomy as I go. So here's what you do. How about your first moves are to make, okay, one line like this and one line like that. We're going to make, you know, the back of it. It's not perfectly round, right? Do we see, we see some angles, right? So if you see the angle, get it, okay. For this spider, it's gonna be a big spider. Okay, sorry, if you're, if you're arachnophobic, turn away. Okay, I'm sorry, but you know, you can't please everybody in the world. If you like my unicorns though, yeah, you can check those out. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person, I like spiders and unicorns and all the cute things and the interesting things. So that's what I'd like to draw with with everybody. Okay, so it's kind of like a pentagon, right? Like, do you, can you see the shape with me? So you've got, this goes up, this goes over, this goes here, this goes there and comes back across, yeah. So observe your subject, you know, might not always be a perfect oval or, or, or shape like that. Now, I'm seeing here, its body sticks out. And I know for you, it might be a little hard to see these details. Let's see, can I pull up a cool picture for you? Oh, even better. Oh, I still have the link up, control C. Okay, dear viewers, what I'd love to do right now is send you the pic. Okay, here's the pic. I'm drawing, exclamation point. There we go. So there's a link. So hey, if you need that picture and you need to zoom in, it's there, it's in the chat, okay? So I'm trying to provide, <laughs> yeah, a little more for my viewers so you can see better. Yeah, so I'm trying to, we're going to do the best we can here. It, it's got a very small carapace. Yeah, that's, uh, it's got two body parts, okay? Yeah, the carapace would be the head, what, what you would call the head, because the eyes are here. It's got a little cluster of eyes, so I'm trying to draw that little cluster. And I know this is very light. I promise I'm going to go over it with a darker, uh, yeah, darker marker. And over here, let's see, I've got, s I, I see a couple little bumps there, and... They actually, sometimes people think they have 10 legs when they look very closely. Some spiders do, it does look like they have extra legs in the front. But they, they have these things called pedipalps. Pedipalps. Yeah, ec like an extra little, little set in the front. But they're not really true legs from what I understand. So you could put the pedipalps there. It could be its fangs. Yeah, maybe the pedipalps aren't even visible. And sometimes it's hard to tell with a photo we're working with this the best we can. Okay, so let's figure out the legs. So figure out which direction do the legs go. I see one set of legs goes this way. So I'll just make an indication. These are going this way. The other set on the other side, what do you see? They're sticking out over here. So let's get these. It's getting a little blurry back there too. Yeah, you don't really see these completely. So hey, less work for us, right? We just, we just have to decipher what's going on here. We have to figure this out as the artists. Yeah, these legs, it's like they're overlapping each other. So hey, you're welcome. If you want to add extra legs based on the other spider you see up there, uh, you, know, you can make the correct amount of legs uh, showing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to show what I'm seeing here. See, I've got this comes down, and then how about this set over here comes out? So yeah, what's happening? Yeah, they're, they are coming out of this part. Yeah, we might not see, we might not see where it is originating from, but this, this part of its body really sticks out a lot. I think that's what's happening. It's sticking out and kind of covering up its, carapace its head a little more so that's what's happening I, I hope my explanation helps now how about this what about these legs like I was saying they're going to go this way it looks like yeah, I'm gonna measure it on the screen for myself and yeah they're going kind of in a 45 degree angle 
Actually, it almost looks like you could draw a line through the body. What do you think, right? You could even follow that. Follow these lines. Follow it. Follow. And there are two legs here, so I have to make two lines. Make sure those are clear. All right, this will this will work out pretty well. You know, we might even get to some more than just one today. So let's see, let's see how far we get. All right, I've got my markers and stuff, and those can make pretty quick work of uh, of this kind of thing. Yeah, now it's a little. Yeah, you have to examine and see. Yeah, you know, I see like a band over here. I see a bulbous part of the leg. Then it kind of gets thin and big again. Oh, and it's got like little spines sticking out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, some of them, they don't look like you'd want to touch. They look a little thorny, don't they? Little thorns on them. Yeah. How's it going out there, everybody? Is it working out? I hope so. Yeah, you know, uh, I'd be saying, you know, do you, if you have any questions or requests, I'm open to seeing it. I know some folks on YouTube aren't able to comment unless you have a channel. I think that's, that's too bad. But if you're able to comment and you have any ideas for future classes on the app, which I'll remind you, we're switching to the app this Thursday. So th these are my last classes here on YouTube. I can't believe it. Okay, so I'm seeing that the 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 end of its foot kind of goes this way and it gets a little blurry so yeah it's an interesting uh oops, excuse me if you can't see that an interesting thing here so i'm going to come in with the markers again i think you'll be able to see a little clearer as well so i've got my basket of markers and so yeah instead of using black to outline it i'm going to use this brown so let's get some brown outlines. I can always use the orange in a bit. So brown outline. Here we go. Yeah, so just because though because just because we're moving to this app for live classes doesn't mean that we're we're gonna stop posting things on YouTube. Please do subscribe if you this is the first time you're joining me. You know, welcome and please subscribe. That way, uh, you can get in get notifications. You'll know if there's something new posted. You know, free stuff, free lessons. Go check it out. You know, be sure to be a subscriber. And yeah, you'll know what's happening with all of us here at Vico. Yeah, we're a brand new, brand new thing. We've only just started in the last few months. So thanks, thanks so much for our our fans who've been supporting us and our subscribers and everybody. Okay, so I'm using I'm using the brown to do my outlines. Yeah, it's working out. What do you think? I, I like this. This is okay. I know uh, the leg kind of just tapers off and goes this way. So let's see if I can get it. It's got some bands on it. So try to notice where the bands are. It is easy to lose your place, right? You're like, what's happening on this leg? It's just going on and on and on. It does, does go right off up there, all the way up there. Very long legs, huh? And yeah, they don't stick to their own web. They're able to somehow, yeah, they, they have the ability to know where it's not sticky. I think that's part of it. I don't know if they're like immune to their own stickiness. They they just know where to step. Quite amazing. Okay, so that's one, and there's the other leg like sticks out. So that's what's happening. See, the other one does this. It just it must be bending. That must be what's happening. It's bending, and we don't see we don't see the end of it. It must be bending its leg and and on the web someplace. That's m that would be my best guess. Okay, how about outlining this? Uh, Opisthosoma, yeah, the car uh, not the carapace. The carapace would be the head. All right. 
Oh, an another interesting fact. I was uh, looking at some facts. They're they have really big brains I in relation to their body. They some some of the smaller spiders. Most of their body is their brain. Like it's their their central nervous system. Incredible. Yeah. So we're getting we're getting science and art today. Yes. Okay. So I'm outlining and making this pentagon here. Coming around. Okay. And I hope the pacing is okay. I hope you're able to, you know, keep up. Or even some of you might be faster than me. You might be done with this already. Maybe you're moving on to these next spiders I put up. Which is why I put them up. Just in case. In case you want to practice some more. Yeah, we love that. Thanks for sticking around and practicing. And yeah, I, I have a belief that if you practice, that's it. That's just how you get better. You know, with anything. Artists, though, we beat ourselves up, right? You Sometimes you look at your own work and you're like, this is awful. And you know what? I say that to myself, too. And that's okay. All right? But just remind yourself, you know, that you practiced, you did it, and you're going to try things again next time, maybe a little differently, and maybe it'll work out even better. Okay? So every everything you do it goes toward uh, yeah, building yourself up. You know, think about when you st first start playing a video game, right? You know, you're, you're at level nothing, you're at level one. You know, you're not going to beat the game, uh, beat the main boss of the game at that level. If you're, this is like an RPG or something, you have to start. You just have to keep whacking monsters that are easy to kill. So same thing with, yeah, you just draw, okay? Just draw. And this isn't even about, you're not killing monsters, you're just drawing, okay? That's it. Okay, here's my other spider leg, and the other one goes behind it. So I'm just going to make sure... It it's visible that it's going behind. And you know, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to do this really cool uh, abdomen here. The I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's the opisthosoma. I see there are some interesting outlines on it. So let's get those in there. See if you can spot the interesting outlines. All right, so I've got this point here, comes over, here's another point. Yeah, it's got one of these interesting, interesting shaped uh, behinds, <laughs> right? Now, now that I'm looking, it almost looks like a face, right? I think there is one called the happy face spider. <laughs> you, you need to check these out. If you're, not, if you're not scared of spiders, just go and research them, and you're going to be astounded by the variety out there. They're amazing. And remember, they're not out to get you. They just want to eat bugs. That's all they really want. So, you know, unfortunately, I know if I, I hear stories. If pe some people get bit and do have some bad reactions. So just, you know, take care. You know, sometimes you have to check your shoes in some places. I understand that. On Saturday, I am doing another kind of sp scary subject. Come back Saturday on the Vico app. Yeah, on the Vico app for scorpions. Yes, I'm going to, we're going to focus just on scorpions, which are relatives of spiders. They are in the arachnid uh, uh, family. So I'm seeing back here, it's got these circles in the back. Yeah, do you spot that? Do you spot those spots? Okay. And what are some other shapes I know? I don't know. It's this really big white coming out like this. So we'll see. If you notice shapes, just try to get those shapes in. All right. This is the power of observing. And if you can simplify it into simple shapes, you know, you're going to have an easier time drawing. Then instead of going, I don't know what to do, you know, just break it down, squint at it, say, what do I see? And yeah, it's almost like there's this face here. It looks like, like a weird cat face or something. <laughs> yeah, now I'm influencing you. Now you see it too, don't you? At least mine is like a cat face. Oh, 
To be honest, I am not certain of the exact species of the spider. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know, if you can identify any of the species of spiders we've seen. Yeah, feel free. You know, educate me. Tell me what you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to get this design on its body. Now it looks like it's uh, a statue. It's me. It's not real, but they have very nice uh, patterns on them, don't they? Yeah, I hope we can appreciate that. Thank you to my spider fans for hanging out. And and if you're not a fan of spiders, you're just here to draw. <laughs> okay, great. You know, you're you've, you're open-minded. Thank you to all the open-minded people. <laughs> You're out there. I know you are. Hey, so, oh, great. We still have some time left. We're going to make this really great. And, yeah, if you have time to sketch more, go ahead. You do it. And later, in my second session tonight, I think I'm going to do a pastel. I save that for last because it's the messiest thing I'll do. <laughs> pastel gets very dusty, as some of you may know. Okay, so uh, getting some more of these. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on up here. What is going on up here? It's like dark here. It's gray. Okay, I think I'm going to have to fill this in a little bit like that. There's some spots here. Maybe there's a spot over here. And what else do we have over here? Let's do this. Yeah, hey, I, I hope you're drawing with me. Is this the best spider you've drawn all day? I hope so. Give me a like, yeah, if you're drawing the best spider you've drawn all day. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, and if not, I hope your next one is. Okay. I hope so. All right, we've got this very intricate creature. So we've got, I see some black here, and it goes like this. And wow, that's like a really neon yellow in there. So let's see if I've got that type of yellow in my toolbox here. Of, cor of course I'm finding all the all the most orangey yellows. I want like a neon one. Like laser lemon. Where's my laser lemon? Okay, well I've got some I've got some choices here. Okay. Whoops. Now let's try it everybody. Okay, so I'm noticing it's yellow and then it kind of there's no line. Do you see that? Do you see how it's yellow and then it stops and it gets white and there's some yellow here and there's some yellow over here. See? Observe. Make sure you notice things like that. I see more yellow on this side now. There's more yellow here. Yeah, make sure we get those. And I see it's yellow here. And what else do we see? Uh, how about all this orange up here? Um, we find a really nice orange. Trying to get the orange. Okay, well, I'll stick with this one. This should do the trick. Yeah. Okay, I can even add some red. It's like a red orange, right? Do you see that? Yeah, so you can add uh, colors on onto other colors as well. You don't have to, like stay with what you see you can you know take it to another level all right so it's very orange up here yeah so yeah these are very interesting markings on these okay the legs are quite orange so let's get the orange on the legs you know uh, if you leave a streak of light yeah it's got very slight slight streaks on it yeah you can make it look like it's reflecting some light on its legs certainly do that and I'm not bothering erasing the pencil. It doesn't bother me. That's fine. That's okay. Sometimes we erase it. Sometimes we don't. Uh, I didn't really. I didn't really give much love to this uh, head, did I? The carapace. Oh, the legs are interesting on this one. I. It's got that banding, so I want to make sure I get that. And like I said, yeah. If you if you feel like it needs another leg, I, I almost feel like <laughs> adding more legs. I'm a, like. I didn't put enough legs. 
Okay. Okay, dokie. Um, yeah, what's going on? Let's take. I think I'll have to get some spots on here. So it looks like to me, I see like a pattern of of like what could be could be interpreted as these spots. So I mean, what I'll do is they're going to originate from the center and radiate out. So see what I mean by radiate? Like here's the middle and the dots are and the spots are going to go outward. They're radiating out from the center. So that's just my interpretation. I mean, I could certainly like look at a macro shot of one of these spiders, but uh, I don't think I have time for that right now. So, but I do see a cool shape in there. I see like kind of like like a triangular thing happening here, and I also see uh, wherever if those petty palps or the jaws are going back, they're going back there. Yeah, yeah, it's fangs. Okay. Oh, it's got a lot of um, shadow under here. Yeah, there's definitely a shadow. So it's. Yeah, this uh, rear end is kind of coming forward almost, or at least it's casting a shadow on its own body here. So cool. And then I'm noticing some roundness. Do you see? Yeah, I see a little bit of like a round, roundness like that. And then the center, something like that. That do the best you can, everybody. All right, that's what I'm doing. Just trying to observe and not stress out too much if I can't quite see every single detail. You know, yeah, we do a lot of drawing and observing on this, uh, you know, on these sessions of mine. And sometimes you can't see everything. You know, you can pretend you're at the zoo and the animals are moving around. Maybe you're not going to see everything. It's okay. We are doing the best we can, and we're still coming out with great art. Okay? And it's up to you. If you want to try to be more accurate, do it. All right? Be as accurate as you can and as you want to be. Maybe you want to make a cartoon version of it. That's okay, too. Yeah, this probably could be a little longer. That's all right. I feel like I should get some web, right? Like, where is he? He's, like, floating around. No, we need to get some web under, underneath it. Oh, but okay. I have an idea. Let's see if I can pull this off. So I'm going to take a pencil, and I hope well, I hope you'll be able to see it. That's that's important. But it, the the web is so slight, right? It's very it's very faint. So I'm. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this pencil and draw some lines for the web. And they kind again they radiate. They're they're smaller, and the circles are smaller in the middle, and then they spiral and spiral that's what happens it's a spiral yeah maybe we can draw a web next session i want to do everything yeah you all have to join me on the vico app please come to the app and we're going to have so much fun on there i'll be able to take requests and we can we can do all sorts of things so please do join me on the app i can't wait for everything to be on and running smoothly just yeah yeah you're Come with us. Come join us. It's going to be so great. I'm very, very excited for it. So excited. Yeah, I saved our spiders for today. This very, very momentous day. Now, what am I doing on Thursday, right? As you know, some of you maybe, I do, I do classes on Thursdays. So I won't be here on YouTube. Whoopsie broke my pencil yeah i won't be here on youtube i will be on the app so check out the vico app go to vico.com okay all right i'm trying to get these lines let's see if i can get the okay so yeah this spider's foot is touching this line here there's one here let's try and get some of these very light they're like What's the word? Gossamer. Gossamer, I think, might be a word to describe a spider web. They're just so, like, they're so thin. Okay, I see also lines going yeah, across, so more horizontal type lines. 
but how do I show, how do I get this? How do I get what's behind it to show through? I'd love to see if I've got the right type of green. I think I might. I got some cool green. So here's my idea. Let's see if this works. This might, I hope I don't fail miserably. But I'm noticing that you we, we've got the very thin lines, right? Oh, I should draw the across ones too, right? So yeah, plan ahead, right, everybody? So, all right, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm making these lines do this. I'm not going to draw each and every single one. I just, right now, we don't have time. But the effect I'm going to show you, it's about using, yep, I guess, would it be positive and negative space and color? Let's try it. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, so a couple more lines here. Yeah, I r to be honest, I don't see them. I don't see any of these types of, la was it lateral? These types of lines that go, yeah, spiraling on this side that much. I think it's the lighting. It's not that it's not there, but the lighting is not revealing them. So, yeah, see, so you don't see them that much here. Maybe you see like a little bit, but you do see the ones on this side. So let's, let's try this. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm feeling a little nervous, but I can do it. Let's do it. The worst that'll happen is, I don't know, <laughs> nothing will happen. Let's do it. So my idea is leave some of that line white, around, yeah, go around it. Don't fill it in. Fill in the spaces in between. See what I'm getting at? Yeah. All right. So I'm using this very bright green for this. It's kind of like there's a darker green happening there. But yeah, use what you have and practice this. See if it works for you. Maybe, maybe this is an effect that'll really work for your art. Because can you imagine what this is going to look like by the time I'm done? Like, you know, next year. No, I'm just kidding. But. <laughs> So what, what I want to do is fill it in, fill it in, keep going, and you see what's happening. Th see, the web is revealed. The web shows because I'm leaving those lines blank, and I'm filling the shapes in in between the lines. The silk strands. Yeah, spiders produce silk from spinnerets at the end yeah, at the end of their body here. They make they have spinnerets. Yeah, they all I think a lot of them make silk. Even the tarantulas do, but the tarantulas won't make like this big type of web. They'll they'll burrow or they'll make a home in a tree. Yeah, stick around. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm over time. Oh no. Okay. All right, everybody, I think I have to, I think I need to stop. I need a little break, but I can show this in the second session and continue maybe there, or if I continue during my break, I'll show you how it came out. But yeah, I've got more spider drawings coming up tonight, so I'm super, like, as you can tell, this is a very exciting subject for me. So please, yeah, come back if you can, if you're still up or, yeah, you yeah, if you're if you're available, come on back. We'd love to see you here. Yeah, oh, it's great. I got some folks folks here. I know you're out there. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. S but you see see uh, see what's happening. Okay, yeah. Okay, so come back later. Come back later to see how this comes out. I'll be back in about an hour, a little less than an hour, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so yeah, let's let's come back to my main main camera for a second. <laughs> All right, where where am I? Here I am. Okay. All right. So thanks so much. Thanks for joining me for this very special very special day. I'm sorry if I kept you. <laughs> All right, but don't forget, check us out. Check out Vico.com. Check out the Vico app. I'll be on there. Thursday. It'll be a very wonderful, auspicious day. And yeah, we'd love to see you on there. Uh, thanks for drawing and watching with me. How does yeah, see, this is how it's coming along so far. So you can imagine, you know, what's going to happen next. Yeah, that web is going to show. Yes. So if you, if you got this far with me, yeah, see if you can take it a little farther.
It'd be so cool. And what did we do earlier? We did our, our warm-ups as well. But yeah, we'll have more warm-ups coming up at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. So I hope you come back. And if not, I hope to see you on the app. That'll be awesome. So subscribe and get notifications from us at Vico if you haven't yet. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you. I'll see you in less than an hour for our second session. Okay. Farewell. Let's go to the desk. Oops.